part is teaching them how to get on the plane of the pitch. And I have this rope set up which shows what a typical plane of a pitch would be. It comes in on a slight downward angle due to gravity in most cases. So the problem is, is a lot of girls start with their hands high and they will just want to swing down on the ball. And that only gives you one perfect spot to hit the ball. What we want to teach is for them to actually get the bat, to let the bat lay down, get it on the plane of the pitch, and then stay on the plane of the pitch as long as possible. So we have to teach them what's called leveling, which is actually letting the bat drop on the plane of the pitch. And then we have to teach them to be palm up, palm down as long as possible, and that's the key. They have to be palm up, palm down here, all the way through the pitch. As soon as they turn their hands over, you can see the bat comes off the plane of the pitch. That's why they hit the weak grounders. So we want to teach them to get the bat on plane, stay palm up, palm down as long as possible, and then they'll keep their bat on the plane of the pitch. And the next drill from Sparky Parker is going to show you a two-part drill that I'm using, and then I'll go into more detail after that. Perfect. And okay, now take it back slow, draw it back, draw it to the ball. Take it back slow, draw it back, draw it to the ball. So first let's cover the grip, okay? A lot of girls, they got a death grip on the bat. They grip it too tight. You can actually tell them just wiggle your fingers and keep it loose. We got to make sure the hands get flat. So have them stick their two fingers out, their two pointer fingers. If they line up like that, then their hands are nice and flat. If they're cockeyed, they got to adjust their hands until their hands stay flat. So tell them, you can, you, you, eventually you'll see them doing that in the batter's box. Stick their fingers out to make sure their hands are flat. And the last thing is make sure this wrist, the back wrist, is not cut like a, like a claw. You got to make sure, almost like a motorcycle, give it a little bit of gas like this, then that'll allow the hands to get flat. So, again, check the grip, make sure it's loose, and make sure that this wrist is curled a little bit, and then they'll, uh, that'll enable them to get their, their bat flat. So let's go through the finer points of that Sparky Parker drill. The first thing we want to do is we want to have the girls form this V here and glue their arm to their side, right like this. Now a key point is don't have them get back here. Have them right out in front, right on the front of their rib cage. Glue it right here. And this hand is flat like they're serving a pizza. So that's what the back hand does. The hands are flat like this. They can check their grip by pointing out. And you got to get them to lay the bat flat. They all want to get up like this when they start the drill, or get up like this. Just have them lay the bat flat. They're not good at this at all. you got to make sure they start like this. And then the front arm has a slight bend to it. So this forms your hitter's box. And all we're going to do in that drill is just draw the bat back and then turn everything. We're not extending. We're doing nothing with the arms. We've got this hitter's box. It's locked up. Our hands are flat, the bat is laid down, and we're just going to draw it back and then come to the ball and stop. And that's your contact position. Just like this. And they can get through the ball. I'll show you that. So have them get through the ball, but keep the hitter's box locked up. So they're just going to go back and get through the ball like that. But don't let them extend their arms. From the front view, it's going to look like this, okay? The key is you want this arm and the bat to be on the same line. You're going to see them, they're going to want to have an angle here, like this. You don't want that. You want the bat to lay down so this is all on the same line, like this. And then depending upon the height of the pitch, that's a high pitch, that's a low pitch, and then that's a really low pitch. But the arm and the bat are always on the same line. And I'll show you again from the front. So you glue this arm like this, this hand stays flat. The bat gets in your hands, lay the bat flat like this, okay? And then you're going to take it back and turn it up. They're going to want to turn their hands over and turn this elbow down. Don't let them do that. Just have them work up like this. So again, the elbow, it doesn't go up like that, or it doesn't turn over. It just works up just a little bit to keep the bat on plane with the pitch. So that's drill two. And then you can do it off the tee or off a front toss or anything like that. Again, the T is in line with their front foot, 
they lay the bat down, they draw it, and they just come to contact. And that's part two. So the whole key to this is that you teach the girls to learn to turn. They want to turn everything. Their hips, their shoulders, everything. They want to turn it. Make sure that front foot or the back foot gets up on its toe. They just want to sit here and throw their hands at the ball, and that's not what we're teaching. So, again, to lock the hitter's box up, but the key is they have to learn to turn everything. They're going to want to extend. They're going to want to roll the wrist. They're going to want to do all that stuff. you got to correct them. So they lock their hitter's box up, and they turn, just like this, turn, turn. That's the key to the drill, 